At first glance, it's easy to see that Leona Oceania is mad for the macabre. My decor has been very death-themed for a long time. I have a lot of skull-related things and skeleton-related decor. And then there's the centerpiece. Probably the most talked about piece is the, the coffin that I built that's now the bookcase in the corner. Without shelves, the bookcases will one day function as Leona's real life, or real death, coffin. It's possible to have a good death and it's possible to have a good end, but the your best chances of getting that are to prepare for it. But it's all a little... Oh, sorry, hang on just a second. <laughs> Spooky. Nothing like having a conversation about death and then the lights go out <laughs> mid-interview. Leona says she's fine with having her future coffin as a permanent presence in her house. The awareness is what's important to me. Like, it's important that I am aware that it's coming and that's how you live your best life. It's a story we first spotted in the Wall Street Journal. Leona, just one of many getting in on the DIY coffin trend. And she's not the only one. A 2021 study shows the median cost of an adult funeral with a viewing and burial is $7,848. Northwoods Casket Company, based in Wisconsin, sells a build-your-own casket kit for $849, complete with blueprints. People have it in their head that you have to do the traditional $10,000 funeral, and if you don't do that, it means you didn't love the person who died, and that's just not true. It really is a reflection of where people are in their own mindset and life for how they feel about death, for how they react to the coffin being in my living room. Many people who do build their own coffins end up personalizing them with different designs. You can kind of paint whatever you want on the outside. But more than anything, folks like Leona say that it's all about preparing for the inevitable so that your family doesn't have to do it. She compares it to making a living will. Fair enough. I'm just going to get cremated. Oh. I mean, that took a left turn. Uh -huh. There are plenty <laughs> of other ways to do it besides the, the, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars that people right. are used to spending. On. I, I mean, I'm just trying to learn how to make a cabinet or a headboard. <laughs> a loaf of very, bread. Very, 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 very advanced. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.